Hi, welcome back to art class. I'm Mrs. Krause. And this is Iggy and Prance. They'll be joining us today to do an art project. I'm Prance. I'm so excited to make art with you too. I am so excited to make art. I'm so excited for today's topic because we're going to be talking all about color. We're also going to be talking a little bit about other elements of art, like line and shape. Can you see any lines and shapes in this picture? Try to look for some more lines and shapes in this picture by Carlos Merida called Cosmic Eye. These are some of the supplies that we're going to use today. You could pause the video and go gather some of these supplies. If you don't have something, don't worry about it. Just do what you can. If you do have paint, you can try this first activity. You could use watercolor paints or you could use these tempera paints. I'm going to be using these tempera paints. If you don't have tempera paints, that's okay. I'm gonna set my paints aside and here's my paper and I have a brush. Choose two colors and put two blobs of paint on your paper. I'm gonna do yellow and blue. There's one blob. There's the second one. Now the fun part. I get to mix it around and see what happens. Ooh, did you see what color it made? That's right, it made green. Did you know that mixing blue and yellow together makes green? I can make lots of swirls on my paper. I can go over other colors. I could make a zigzag line could make a straight line. How about another diagonal straight line? There's an X. And if I don't like it, I can just go over it some more. Maybe I'll go this way and try to cover up my whole paper. Maybe I'll do a loop-de-loop. -loop. Hmm. How about a bumpy line? If you're using watercolor paints, you can just make any picture you want mixing colors together. You won't be able to do this other artist trick that we're going to do, but that's okay. If you want to pause the video, you can pause the video at any time and do these activities with a grown-up. When you're done with your activity, just come back to the video and watch the rest and check out some other activities that you can do. Okay, my paper is looking pretty green. I want to try one more thing with you. This is an artist trick. So you can learn this new artist trick. Here's what you do. Instead of painting with this side of your paintbrush, you're going to turn your paintbrush around and use the back. We're going to make some lines in our paper by scratching through the paint and it makes some really fun lines. You can even draw a picture this way. You could even write your name. I'll write my name at the top. Mrs. Krause. You can kind of see it. There we go. I've got these wavy lines down here that are making me think of water. I think I'm gonna draw a boat. Maybe I'll even put a sail and make it a sailboat. Oh, I kinda don't like how that's looking and my name is too big. Guess what, you can turn your paintbrush around and paint right over anything that you want to erase or change.
There we go. That's a nice big sail. Maybe I'll put some lines on my boat. Oh, I'm noticing that I have some special shapes in my drawing. Do you see any shapes? Oh, I see two triangles. Did you see any other shapes? Maybe I could add a shape. How about a circle? What could that be? Oh, it could be the sun or the moon. I'm gonna make it into a sun. Let's give us some sunglasses. There we go. Those are some big zigzag lines for those sun rays. Maybe I'll even put some straight lines in the middle of them. Okay, I think I'm done with my painting. Here's another example. This one was made with red and yellow. Can you tell what color it made? That's right, orange. Do you know what color would happen if we mix red and blue? If you said purple, you are right. Here is another quick activity you can try. This one's great because you don't even need a paintbrush. Unless you're using watercolors, then you would probably need to mix your colors with water and a paintbrush. But I'm gonna use these tempera paints. I'm gonna shake the paint down. Oh, what was that noise? Sounds like I'm running out. Well, I got some on my finger. There's some blue. And there's some red. Oops, that's not red, it's yellow. Okay, now I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm gonna mix, with just one finger, I'm gonna mix two colors. So I'm gonna push that one over there. And let's use another finger and bring that one over there. What color is it making? Yes, it's making orange. Okay, I've got some messy fingers, but that's okay because I'm still going to keep painting. Let's move that one over there. If you'd rather use a paintbrush for this, that's okay. What color are blue and red making? Ah oh, yes, it's making purple. If it's looking too dark for the purple to show up, you can bring in some more red and then it will look more purple. Wow, my hands are really messy. I'm gonna make a handprint. Ooh, I think I need some green in this picture. How could I make green? Oh, that's right. I can bring some blue over and some yellow and mix them together. Maybe I'll make a handprint with my whole hands. There's my handprints. paint then we would have to go in the washing machine yeah that's right we'd have to go in the washing machine we can't do that that's okay if you don't have paint or if you don't want to use paint you can use crayons or markers okay oh I love using markers me too this is really fun you know what it seems like the crayons work better for color mixing do you know what you just made? You made a color wheel. I'm a color wheel. I have red, yellow, and blue. 
Do you see red, yellow, and blue? I also have orange, green, and purple. Did you know that red, yellow, and blue are the primary colors? If you have the primary colors, you can make all of these other colors by mixing them together. Really? I'm so proud of myself for making a color wheel. Me too. I am so proud of myself. These are the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Can you find the primary colors in this painting by Charles DeMuth? It's called Buildings Abstraction, Lancaster. Can you also see all of the lines and shapes he used in his artwork? Ah, yes, I see rectangles, squares, and triangles. I also see vertical and horizontal straight lines. These are the secondary colors. These are the colors we get when we mix two primary colors together. This is a collage made by Romer Bearden. It's called Pittsburgh Memories. Can you find the secondary colors anywhere in this picture? I bet you could find the primary colors. How about a zigzag line? How about a circle? Do you see a rectangle? All right, now we're gonna use those colors we learned about and make a rainbow. Did you know that a rainbow has the same colors as a color wheel? If you have a paper plate at home, you could go get one and cut it in half. If you don't have a paper plate at home, you can just use paper for this. Iggy has this special crayon that has all of the colors in the rainbow. It's so cool to be able to see all those colors come out when you color with it. But most people probably don't have a crayon like this, so you can just make sure that you have the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and the secondary colors, orange, green, and purple. You could use crayons or markers or anything else you have at home to color with. Start with red. And make an upside down U. Then comes orange. What's next? That's right, yellow. Then green. Blue. And purple. Paper plates work best if they are not glossy. If they have a glossy finish on them, maybe try turning them over and using the back. If you don't have a paper plate, just draw a rainbow on a piece of paper. That's what Iggy and Prance are doing. Um, what comes after yellow in the rainbow again? I forget. I think it's, I think it's green. Wow, that was so fun. I loved coloring this rainbow. I'm having so much fun, I kind of want to do more. If you'd like to do more, check out the bonus activity and see if it's something you'd like to try.